everybody. So we're back on the shop with another daily vlog. And guys, it's been a blast having those guys here and uh, doing the whole vlog thing with multiple people and being able to actually get behind the camera and zoom in, zoom out, focus on things. Uh, it's a little bit harder whenever you have to do everything yourself. So the camera angles are just pretty much tripod angles. There's not a whole bunch of camera work, but it has been a blast doing that camera work and actually getting up close on things, like I said. So hopefully y'all have enjoyed those. Uh, we do have at least one more video with them in it. That's going to be next week. Uh, so we will have that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and jump into the Kydex press build. We're going to go ahead and do that. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So I'm excited about having the press. I'm excited about having the actual Kydex foam and everything that's meant for pressing sheaths. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to get it knocked out. Let's jump into it. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking a torch to the overall surface of these wood planks that I'm going to be using as the frame for the Kydex press. And what this does is it just brings out the natural wood grain on this. And I'm just doing this purely for aesthetics. I didn't want the wood and the foam to be the same exact color. So I just wanted to add a little bit of extra something to it. So. That's what I'm doing right here. Pretty much you just take a torch, follow the wood grain that's already on there, and it will start burning pretty much just where the wood grain flows through it. And what you'll do after that is you'll just sand it, just give it a light scuff sand, and then you'll go through and clear coat it. But right here, just going through and torching the fronts, the sides, uh, the front and back of the sides, all of those different things, and just bringing out a little bit of extra character to it. And then I'll go through and start sanding it. And then that just gets rid of some of the areas where there wasn't wood grain that was torched. It was just kind of the wood itself. And it just makes it to where the wood grain is what stands out. Once we get that done, we just kind of go around the edges that you'll see whenever it's actually open and stuff like that. Get the corners a little crisp and make them stand out a little bit. And once we're done sanding, we'll take a tack cloth to it and this just gets rid of all the dust that's on it. So that whenever I start clear coating it, it puts down a nice smooth finish. And you can use polyurethane with this. You can use regular clear coat. It's kind of up to you. I just used clear coat that I had laying around. That definitely turned out pretty awesome. Now it's time to go ahead and cut the foam and I'm just using the extra piece of wood that I had left over after cutting the two planks that I'm going to be using for the frame as the measuring stick if you want to call it that. <laughs> the measuring device. And uh, just using a razor blade to cut it, it cuts real easily. And we're going to cut two of those, so one for the top and one for the bottom. I think this foam is going to be so much better than the foam I was using before because, of course, those were just pieces of foam that I made to kind of do what it needed to do, but this foam is actually made for making sheaths and holsters and things like that. But I just use liquid nails and spread it out over the pieces of wood and then press them down with my hands, clean any of the excess squeeze out. I went ahead and did the other one. Again, just pressed it down, got rid of any of the excess squeeze out. What we'll end up doing is later we're going to end up clamping this before it's completely dry and that'll put the extra little pressure that I need to make sure that it gets a really good bond. And 
now I'm just going to check and make sure that everything's lined up how I want it to be. And then we can start marking where the hinges are going to go. Now the hinges and wood from this just came from Lowe's. It's nothing fancy. It's just wood that they sell in a 1x6 and these little hinges that they have. On my old one, I only have one hinge and it kind of wobbles a little bit. So I wanted to do two hinges on this one so they didn't have that issue. And I marked where the holes were, plus where the hole is going to be when I'm punching right here so that it can screw into the side. And then I also marked a line for where I need to bend the hinge so that it hooks over the top of the press itself. And this doesn't have to be super precise, but I'm pretty picky, so I wanted it to be as precise as possible. So now that we got those done, we can start screwing them on here. And I had pre-drilled the holes just so that we don't have to worry about the wood splitting. So these are going to go in pretty easily. That was the reason why I marked them originally, was so that I could pre-drill the holes. just giving this a nice little pre-drill so that again we don't have to worry about the wood splitting the last thing you want to do is get this far into it and your wood splits because you got a little too antsy and you started screwing a screw into an area where it wasn't ready for it and then you get into a tight part in the grain or something like that and it just cracks the wood and I could have left it just like that, but I decided to go ahead and put feet on it. You'll see that whenever we start doing the outro, but this is going to work out absolutely awesome. And I decided not to do it that wide because I don't really make very wide sheaths and this is perfect for what I'm going to be using it for. Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap up today's daily vlog and check that out. I mean, this thing turned out absolutely awesome. We got the actual Kydex foam versus those square matte things that I was using. Uh, this is actual foam that's meant to give the Kydex cheese real good definition. And uh, we've got good hinges on the back of them. We did that awesome burning of the wood so they brought out all the grain and then clear coated it. You don't need to do this step. I just did it because I wanted it to look awesome. And uh, I didn't want it to all be this one cream color. And it would have been if I wouldn't have done that. But I cannot wait to use that. Speaking of using it, the uh, sheath that we're going to make with it first is the one for this knife. So excited about making that. And uh, then we're going to make a sheath on another video for the knife that the, the guys just finished. So we're going to be doing that one. Now, what I want to talk about for a minute is what's going to be coming up next week. So, I'm planning on taking a few days off throughout the week to focus on some of the customer builds that I have to do. I really need to get these knocked out. I've been uh, so focused on the YouTube channel and all of that stuff that these got kind of pushed to the wayside and I don't want that to happen. I need to finish these up for customers so that I can get back to focusing on the YouTube channel and it just be you know, custom builds just for that. And that's what I want to do. So I want to knock out all of those. Uh, we're still going to have, like I said, the Kydex video that's going to come out tomorrow. We're going to have Shop Talk Tuesday. We're going to have another little video that's going to come out uh, with the guys in it. So we are going to have some stuff that gets popped out. And that's not saying that I'm not going to release a video. I might film some of the stuff that I'm working on in these and put that out there. I don't know exactly yet, but I know that that's going to be my focus next week. And I don't need to be focusing on making videos and editing and doing all that stuff while I'm doing that. I need to just get that stuff knocked out. So that's what I'm going to do. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for checking this video out. And if you haven't yet, 
Give it a thumbs up, share it, or share a video I've done in the past that might be your favorite. And if you have not yet, bottom corner, hit that subscribe button so you get notified for when the Kydex video comes out, plus the video with the guys, and then of course the next builds that we have coming up, and I have a couple of badass builds that are going to be coming up. So be on the lookout for those. Guys, again, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for checking this video out. Y'all have an amazing day, and I will catch y'all next time.